You know, a lot of people have been talking to me um, online about the show recently. It's weird. There was a GQ article that came out from a from a, a trans woman who said she doesn't know why, because everything about this show should offend her, but she is obsessed with it. She's watched it three times and loves it. And and you know that. It makes me happy because obviously we took some heat, but I think the tide is turning. And we were talking about somebody tweeted to me like, did you see the show as drama was the heart? And I said, absolutely. Like Kevin Dillon in the show, Johnny Drama represents the real struggle of Hollywood, the real heart of Hollywood. And Vince represents the fantasy that almost none of us ever get and yeah. we had it for a little while we had mark Wahlberg. yeah mark <laughs> yeah. Wahlberg does like his, uh, yeah. he really is mark you know it was why when when the show first started Midas touch everything he does when yeah. mark first came to me about doing this show i was like there's no show because you have no struggle there is no conflict and what i tried to do some people make fun of the ups and downs of vince's career but that's the real life for almost everybody mm -hmm. in this business and uh certainly has been for me, and, and I think for you as well, Kev. Oh, no doubt. So No doubt. It was the Wizard of Oz. Kev was the heart. Right? <laughs> yeah. Vince Are you, Dorothy. Did you get high man. with Wiz? Did you get high with Wiz? I wish. I, I, I was ready. So I was the tin man. I wasn't here long enough. Turtle was the straw man. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting way to look at uh, it. Ari was the Wicked Witch of the East. Well, I guess, it really I guess was. Vince it really was. was Dorothy then. <laughs> This was Dorothy. <laughs> but, you know, Vince was the fantasy. You know, when Wiz left, and I, I don't know. I mean, there's certain people who come in. I've, I've been lucky enough to meet a lot of people. And, like, I had a meeting, and I asked them for a picture. I feel like a douchebag. But, I, no. you know what? There's some people that I'm just a big fan of, and I wanted a picture. And what I always love, when I'm yeah. on the road, and I've been telling Doug this for years, as I, when I'm on the road and when I was on the road with Saget, he used to always mention Entourage, like even on stage. And so I always try to tell you, like, People in the streets, they still buzz about the show. Yeah. To this day, I get one every week, I get like a call from a friend, from a comedian who's like blowing up now. And they're like, that was my favorite show. This episode, wow. that episode. Well, so every you're... single one of those people that calls, you need to say, buy a ticket to Phoenix. I don't even care if they're <laughs> in Phoenix. We yeah. have to I'm sell this. To... But, but what's you're cool is the to... young, a lot of younger generations getting into it. I, I think my nephew's pan, 22. The pandemic helped with all that. My nephew's but... 22. His whole crew at wow. University of Michigan and watches Entourage. Yeah. Cool. There's another world out there watching and rewatching. You just, you know, you're you're off on your own world, your no, no, new, I, own listen, career. You I, don't know the streets are talking. They I want a reboot. The I, streets want a reboot. And I think just like Doug said, I think it's coming back around to where it's going to be okay to do the things thematically that you were doing no, it, yes. it, it soon. Is. It's definitely yeah. come back around. And it, again, it's the, here now. The world evolves where, you if know, you I just was, do it. I was talking to Wiz about this. You know, like Ari's not going to talk the same way. That doesn't mean the show won't have the same edge and the same bite. Just you don't walk into an office and talk like that in 2023. But at the same time, men still like women. Women still like men. Yeah. And, you know, and, and in between also. I, I get it. But, I mean, it's just, you know, we, we can do it and we're going to do some things. But we're going to do some things on the stage in Phoenix that's going to be fun. Dylan, do you – I know it's not your favorite thing to do. Um do you have anxiety about it, or you just don't? Like no, I just feel like uh, it should just be the podcast. Just do what we do here. Hmm. Or we should really work work through it. Yeah. I mean, we didn't really work through either of them. Yeah. We're, I'm going to have an outline that we'll talk about. We'll see if you guys like it, and then, then we'll go from there. Um, but the interesting thing is this whole – I think we could do – I've been talking to these guys about we need content always. We could do content on this whole trip. First of all, right now. It's Super Bowl weekend. We don't have flights booked, and we don't have a hotel booked. Yeah, and it is not easy. No. Mike Young is. <laughs> I, I, got a, I got a room. I, I'm good. I got people with a house. They'll put you in their you house. Gotta stay with Mike. <laughs> you stay with <laughs> me. Crash. You may have to ask someone with a house, and we may have to stay there. But Connolly, Dylan, you it's weren't here. Be tough, man. You weren't here the other day. Connolly, like, he doesn't want to stay in an Airbnb with you and I. Like, what kind <laughs> really? of fucking creep is this guy? Like, I have a question. The stand up live February 11th. Didn't stand up live call you guys and go, hey, we have a there's a beautiful hotel right next to the club. No, didn't they tell you you guys have rooms there? No, no, no. But did they tell you you don't have rooms there? They didn't tell us anything. They just said. I mean, we'll I'll get see the owner. There. I'll get the owner on the phone right now. There's a hundred percent. They is have it rooms. Decent? Is it nice? It's a great place, boutique hotel. I think you'd like it. Can you check? Let's We're really. Do that. I mean, I'll get the Let's guy on the phone that. right after. It'd be this. nice to get that over with. A lot of people don't understand that Dylan Connolly and I are so far removed from anything professional at this point that I don't know that we got an offer to go. Uh, 
we said yes, and now we've got to go. First of all, sharing a house would be no problem with the three yeah, of us. What's, what's he talking he about? By the way, they've got three bedrooms. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, like, what's he worried about in this, you know? He's I don't gonna... know. Maybe he wants to rub one out while he gets the chance. <laughs> Connolly you know, loves uh, his privacy. Uh, yeah. Who knows? I don't know. It's a weird one. I've yeah, stayed it... at his house before. Really? Yeah, I was it, I was asked to leave early, earlier wait, than you need to. Wait, what? What is that? Really? Mean? No, Cotton loves. You said you've overstayed. <laughs> no, you're welcome. No. You gotta go. Well, I, I got, you know he's 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 married with a kid now. We're not even gonna get into the night I stayed at Connolly's, but Kevin likes his privacy. Do you know that so Connolly's Dan, a private dude? Dan Sanborn, you know who who brought us the uh, Johnny drama, um, Johnny Walker. Stuff when we yeah. did a commercial and the bottles and all yep, of that, yep. and uh, we did a couple other things with him. We're going out to dinner with me, him, and Connolly, and like we go over to Connolly's house, and Connolly's like getting ready, and I'm like, okay, open the door, let us in. He's like, no. I'm like, what do you mean, no? And he left us standing in the street. I'm no with this. Way. I'm with this exec no who's also a friend, but who who paid Kevin a lot of money to direct a yeah. commercial, and Kevin's like, no, no. I'm like, what are you, a fucking crazy? Like, I've what stayed, are you, I've you stayed got a in a room with him. It might have been messy or something. He didn't want Weird. to show it to you. Weird, messy. Maybe. I stayed in Sundance with Connolly. I shared a room with Connolly. I just remember. When we were filming? That's no. probably why he's yeah. all freaked out. He, <laughs> yeah. stay in a room he woke with up with Mike Young in <laughs> yeah. bed with him rubbing his back. Leaning I'm... over, staring at him. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at those Jesus eyes. Oh, Kevin. <laughs> Come to think of it, we checked in together and he left early. He left. He it was when he had a short film at Sundance. Short film. Connolly had a Get short it, at Sundance. <laughs> <laughs> I shared a room with him. Short guy with a short mic. He went. He wanted to get out. I had the greatest weekend ever, just like I always do off your wow. show. I, I've had <laughs> ten of my greatest weekends off of off of the trail of Entourage. Well, what was the best? The best was your Sundance episode. I don't even know if you remember oh, like, what you fun. did for me. But Sundance episode, you call me, you go, listen, HBO has like an extra, an extra villa, or like an extra room. I'm <laughs> yeah, not going to yeah. be staying there. I'm staying somewhere else. Would you want it? And I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll take a room. I get there. <laughs> it's a four bedroom, amazing <laughs> wow. condo at the base of the mountain with a jacuzzi. Yeah. I didn't even see you guys that weekend. I had the best weekend. See, that's why ever. people need to understand. And then all the swag you came home. Came with. home with two cases <laughs> of swag. I still wear it. But in this we day. have provided. I like the that you tell this, Mike. I have provided you with entourage moments. Like yeah, you clothed me for six years. <laughs> and fed hey, you. do they still <laughs> give swag away like that? At the... not like that. No, that was I mean, the best. The old days were I mean, I great. Could, please, I mean, Doug. Like... I, I got the Mike Young Nikes, the Nike Mike Youngs from going with you. Remember to yeah, the Nike house? Of course, I remember. Yeah, from uh, Tracy from Gray. the show. Yeah, I designed them maize and blue. Nice. <laughs> I still wear them once in a while. Nice. I, I, I like that though, because people need to understand that's how this group has always been with our friends. Come along now. Mike Young was almost really part of the entourage because Mike Young um, almost auditioned for E, but he decided to uh, decline the invite. Can you imagine? What? Really? You don't know that decline? That would have been a different show, man. <laughs> you that would have been a different this show. Is, this is how I can see him doing it though. This really? Is how the world is. Yeah, I kind of can. Are you kidding? I'd have been a great fourth friend. Do we fire Conley for the <laughs> reboot and get Mike Young? <laughs> no, but I need to be, you know, so like, you have a friend who's a comedian. I mean, I got to well, get in the mix. We're going to see yeah, how, yeah. You, how you do on this opening night, uh, opening mic for the live show Phoenix, February 11th. I can't wait. It's how many gonna tickets be great. are you going to personally sell? I don't know. That's a lot of pressure, Doug. I'm, ge- I'm. By the way, I'm not even reaching out. People are calling me going, hey, we're buying tickets, bought some for me and my friends. I mean, the tickets are finally how on many, sale. How, how many minutes are you doing? I think I'm good for 81 tickets. 81 tickets? That's, that's, a, that's just a number. I just, each 81. show? Each show? How yeah, many seats like, are there? I feel, like if, well, I feel like if they know that I'm there. No, no. Wait, I mean, wait, wait, wait. wait. I, I each did, show? 160 tickets? I mean, that's what I'm... I mean, I, I've, that been, would I've be, played there many times. You would be phenomenal. If you delivered 160... You, you know the place. The only thing I'm saying, Kev, I'd like to be... A, I'd like to appear a little larger on the poster. If you look at me, it's kind of tough to see me. I look, <laughs> I I look like a mistake yet. in the corner, but I'm not going to fight with Doug. I haven't this. seen the poster It's yet, almost but... as funny as the poster Saget made for me as a joke. <laughs> because <laughs> Who it's fought like, with you? It's you, Kevin, and Kevin, like, you know... Three, you know, three major figures, and there's like if you looked, it looks like a microphone, but it's actually my body. 